Hey, Mr. Richards here. Today we're going to talk about proportional and non-proportional relationships. And let's go over our key vocabulary here and make sure we understand what these terms actually mean. Well, our first term is proportional. And basically, two quantities are proportional if they have a constant ratio or rate. The constant ratio is called the constant of proportionality. And non-proportional is relationships in which the ratios or rates are not constant. And we'll take a look at what these actually mean here in our examples. Determine whether the cost of baseballs is proportional to the number of baseballs. If the relationship is proportional, identify the constant of proportionality and explain our reasoning. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to look at the ratios here with the total cost and the number of baseballs. So our first ratio here is 2 over 1. Then we have 3 over 2 and 4 over 3, and 5 over 4. Remember, when you think about slope, we have our x and our y, and it's always y over x, so we're going to write our total cost over the number of baseballs. Well, when I look here, 2 over 1, 3 over 2, 4 over 3, and 5 over 4, these are not equal ratios. So our answer is going to be not proportional. or even non-proportional uh, since the ratios are not equal. 2 over 1, 3 over 2, 4 over 3, 5 over 4, they're all different ratios. What about this time and distance question? Again, if we have our time as x and our distance as y, and we write these as ratios, we have 24 over 1, 48 over 2, 72 over 3, and 96 over 4. Well, in these, 24 over 1 is well, 24 over 1, but 48 over 2 simplifies into 24 over 1. 72 over 3 simplifies into 24 over 1. And 96 over 4 simplifies into 24 over 1, so they're all the same ratio. It's a constant ratio. So our answer here is yes. And we can say the constant of proportionality is 24. We can just take the 24 over 1 and make it 24. And our explanation is each ratio is 24. So in non-proportional relationships, like our first example, the ratios were different. In the second example here, our ratios were all the same. So it is a proportional relationship. Our constant of proportionality is the 24. Nina charges $34.50 for six days of pet sitting. Find the constant of proportionality, then write an equation relating the cost of pet sitting to the number of days. Then finally, what would be the cost of pet sitting for four days? First, let's set up our variables. Let's say that C is going to equal our total cost. 
and that D is going to equal our number of days. What we know is it's $34.50 for six days. What we need to do is find the cost for one day. So if we take $34.50 over six, that's going to equal $5.75 over one, so our constant of proportionality is $5.75. Now, as for our equation, if we think about it, our total cost, C, is going to equal that $5.75 per day times D, the number of days for pet sitting. So now we can use this equation, cost equals $5.75, and multiply by the number of days. Well, in this question, we're asked for four days. So multiply $5.75 by four, and you come up with $23. So as we look back at this question, we set our variables, our cost, and our days. We found our constant of proportionality by saying, okay, $34.50 over six is equal to $5.75 per one day, per one day. It's like a unit rate in a way. We then used our equation and thought, okay, our cost is going to equal that constant of proportionality times the number of days. Then we're looking for four days, so we substituted in four for the D and solved for $23. Joey paid $126 for four tickets to a game. Find the constant of proportionality, then write an equation relating the cost to the number of tickets. How much would seven tickets cost? Okay, well, let's set our variables. C could equal again our total cost, whereas T can be our number of tickets. Now as we go to find our constant of proportionality, we have $126 for four tickets. What we want to find is the cost for one. So if we take our 126 and divide by four, you would find $31.50 for one ticket. So that's our constant of proportionality, $31.50. Now, when it comes to writing our equation, very similar to the last one, we're going to say our total cost C is going to equal that $31.50 per ticket times T, the number of tickets. Now that we have our equation, we're looking for the seven ticket cost. We can put that 7 in for T, so cost is going to equal $31.50 times 7, and well, $31.50 times 7 is $220.50. So again, we started by setting our variables of cost and tickets. We used our $126 for four tickets to come up with how much one ticket cost, and that's our constant of proportionality. We set up an equation saying our total cost is going to equal that constant times the number of tickets. We substituted in the seven for our tickets. We multiplied and got our final answer. That's it. Good luck.